Hi there, uh, we are looking at the factors affecting the equilibrium um, and how we can recognize those factors when they when we're only given a graph or how we would indicate them on a graph. Now the factors that we we know affect the equilibrium um, a catalyst has no effect. We've already looked at heat so the factors are temperature, a change in temperature a change in concentration concentration and a change in volume or pressure okay change in volume or pressure okay so we're going to look at this last one now and uh, and uh, let's look on a clean graph so here once again we have our two reactants a and b and let's assume for now that a is a gas plus B is a gas, um, plus B is also a gas, and then we also assume that the product that they produce is uh, C, let's say C is also a gas. And a, a very good example was uh, of this was um, a nitrogen, hydrogen producing ammonia. And this is a, a two-way reaction to uh, reverse reaction and uh, and that's part of the important um, uh, conditions of equilibrium positions. Now let's say that in this uh, reaction vessel, the vessel wherein this reaction is occurring, we are compressing it, we're reducing the size of it. So um, what whatever it is we are somehow increasing pressure. So for example um, almost like a syringe type we've got some sort of lid that we can push down on so we've got our our reactants in here and as well we have some of the products in there as well now we reduce the volume by just squeezing down on here let's just use that as an example what will happen to this well what you need to remember is that concentration is literally concentration is mole over volume so the moment I reduce volume concentration here the whole of concentration is increased so in other words the number of moles per unit of volume increases when volume decreases Does that make sense so if we were to re in, um, uh, increase pressure by reducing the volume what you would notice is that there would be an immediate effect okay there would be an immediate effect of an increase in so all of a sudden at that point we increase the pressure by in by decreasing the volume so we will have increased levels of concentration for all of the products okay and uh, including this one everything will increase but now what would happen okay so let's assume now there's two two uh, possibilities we can have that um, a b and c that a plus b is greater than C that is is probably more likely that a plus B is greater than C and if that's the case we will find that the equilibrium will shift in that direction okay so to relieve the stress equilibrium will shift in that direction what it means is that the concentration of a and B will be reduced but the concentration of C will be increased in other words in my graph these two will have downward slopes because my concentration is reducing for both of these reducing concentration but the concentration of C will increase okay sorry that was the wrong wrong graph okay. these two will reduce but C will increase And eventually again reach uh, equilibrium position so at some point I will again be there okay let's do this better okay for the blue one 
Oh, that's not blue. Blue one. And for the purple one. Pink. Okay, now I want you to just recognize something. This is typically um, a, a very simplified model, but let's say we were actually working with the synthesis of of ammonia and and you'll see later again um, where we'll look at the actual industrial process of this and the factors affecting it in H3 here we have two three there we go here we can definitely see that the um, and all of these are gases sorry I, I didn't put that in all of these are gases so Definitely what happens here is as the moles increase, or, or since there's more um, moles of gas on the left hand side, if we increase the, um, the pressure or decrease the volume, um, we will, uh, the, the, the equilibrium will shift to reduce the amount of gas in the container by creating more um, of the, uh, the, the, the substance or the side of the reaction that has less gas, which so it will produce more of this one. So I just want to show you that this is a way in which they actually in the industry produce this re um, or uh, do this reaction and they increase the pressure for this reaction because notice initially the um, the concentration of my um, my product was quite low compared to the other two products. Okay, then when I increase the pressure, that concentration didn't just move up with the volume increase, it moved up even more, sorry, with the volume decrease, it moved up more. So now the, the, the amounts of products are actually even much more than, than it was before and more than the um, reverse reaction concentrations. Okay, so um, this is how you will notice this uh, when there's a decrease in volume, there will automatically be an uh, an immediate shift in all of the volumes but then the reactants or well not the reactants the side with the most gas in moles will um, have a decrease and the side with the uh, least gas in moles will have an increase and reach a stable position again okay that is what will happen if we have an increase in the volume now what if we increase concentration that's not concentration if we increase the concentration that would be the last one we look at right here and let me just make space to do that okay so if we increase concentration we mean that one of the one of the elements in this reaction uh, or not elements compounds is the correct word one of the compounds are increased okay so let's first look at it what will happen if i increase the concentration of um of the blue compound what that literally means is that all of a sudden there is an increase in the concentration so there's the concentration at this point now at this point i now decide to increase the concentration with a certain amount Okay, so at this very point, this this one sh shoots up depending on what the new concentration level is. Okay, I've added more of this reactant to the, the system now, um, or more of this compound to the system. Now, the compound that I added was a reactant. If I increase the concentration, it would favor the opposite direction. So in other words, if I increase this one, it would favor the forward reaction. What that means is more is that the, the reactants will be used and the products will be produced. So the reactants will go will decrease more until it reaches a stable position. There's another reactant is the pink one. It will reduce until it reaches stable position and then obviously products are produced so the products will increase and reach a stable position and uh, and then once again it will reach an equilibrium position wherever that may be okay that got a nice graph okay equilibrium positions and that's what we'll have okay so what would have happened if at this point so, well let me quickly just talk you through this again so we see we reach equilibrium and then at this point okay these 
to increase or decrease from that position but this one all of a sudden has this jump that means this one's concentration was all of a sudden increased in this one all of them increased okay so either all of them were they were um, of everything was added or the volume was decreased which automatically changes everything's concentration okay but if I look at this one I immediately know whatever compound uh, blue is that one was um, increased and since these two have, um, uh, since we see that this one then also decreased we can know well these two must then be reactants or at least react with one another to produce the red one because the red one is increased 